Kevin. Um, just with without Steph in the lineup tonight, how did you approach the specific part with your playmaking? Uh, same way I do when Steph is in there. You know, just trying to make the good pass, trying to make the right pass and on target pass. And you know, sometimes I'm more aggressive to pass than I am to score, and I just got to find a balance. But tonight we just had to do it in a different way. You know, we didn't have the three point shooting. To, the spreading of the floor that we usually had. I think Sean did a good job of just switching it up, taking the guys to the post, shooting the mid range, just playing a just playing a different style, and that that shows that uh, we can adapt to just about anything. So uh, Steph definitely he he got to get that 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 janky thigh right because we need him out there. <laughs> but it was a good it was a good game for us, a good win for us, and uh, we came together on the defensive end. That's most important. How how'd that block, uh, you know, crossover jumper on Aaron Gordon sequence feel? Uh, normal. Do, when you get a block like that, do, are you even more focused on, right, I'm about to go do something on the other end just to kind of cap off a, a sequence? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just momentum. You you want to... You want to have those big momentum plays that get the crowd into it, especially on at home, you know, to get the crowd into it. And I felt the energy from my teammates, from the crowd, from the coaching staff. And that was a good sequence right there. I needed that one as well for, you know, just to juice me up a little bit more. Were you chirping with Aaron as well as much with as against Joel the other night, or was that a little bit different? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Um, you guys have developed this habit of like coming out in the second half and cranking up the defense and doing what you have to do on offense and getting it going. Is there any specific thing you can point to? Is it something that goes on at halftime? Is it just reviewing that first half and coming out with different uh, focus? So what, what do you think it is that has you guys on this role in the third quarter? Well, teams are coming out and <clears throat> they're playing a great, great first half, shooting the basketball well. And it's just a – just the averages, you know, in the second half, you put a contest on some of those shots they were hitting in the first half, then, you know, they're going to fall. They're not going to fall. So when we get rebounds and run, that makes us dangerous. And we score so quick um, that, you know, two point league end up 10 points in a matter of a couple of possessions. So I think we just got a hand on those shots. They were <clears throat> got a hand up on those shots they were making earlier and um, made them miss, you know, made them shoot over top of us, met them at the rim. Um, got our hands on on basketballs for deflections, and that's just the type of team we are. You know, we we had a couple um, miscommunication switches in the first half that we corrected, and I uh, watched film when we came back in the halftime, and you know, we just stuck with our our defense and our offense, and things started to turn for us. Kevin Draymond does so much for you guys defensively and as a facilitator, but when he's hitting shots the way he's been hitting them, how much does that open up the offense for you guys? I oh, mean, it opens up a lot because <clears throat> teams want to – teams feel like they want to give him that shot. You know, if somebody's – they're going to leave somebody open, they feel like they want to leave Draymond open, which is not smart because um, he can knock it down. He can drive when he's in space and create for others. Uh, he can screen for guys. He, so he could do so much at the top of the key. And tonight he had it going with the three-pointer. So, uh, But it's not – you got you to gotta realize the type of player Draymond is is that – he puts in work. Like he really works at his shooting. He really works at the floaters. He really works at the small shots in the lane. He made a couple floaters tonight in the lane that were cool. But he works on that every day. So it allows him to come out here and play the way he played tonight. 